Hey Pisces, my name is Kim Enchantress and I'm here to do the relationship reading for you for the month of September. And um, this is what is wrong with your relationship. So I'm going to be doing this through all the planets and using the Enchanted Lenormand cards. And the first card we have here is the Sun. So the Sun is what governs your true radiant self. It, um, the Earth orbits around the Sun, making your Sun sign your most powerful influence on your personality. So when the Sun's positioned in your birth chart, it's revealing your traits and what makes you what you are. And we have the key. So the key is telling me you always are able to find a solution to any situation, Pisces. And there could be a turning point coming up in your life. This is fated and it may be a crucial point. And it, card also tells me that you are a sign that influences others. Now the timing of this card is now and eternal. We've got Mercury, which is a very fast moving card. Our planet, I should say. It influences how you communicate with your romantic partners. Now, we have the garden that goes with it in the Lenormand cards. And it's telling me you love communicating with partners online. Maybe you're doing uh, some dating online or you love to go out in the public where you're open about your relationships. And you often meet your partners doing community work or maybe in events management where you may be a wedding planner or something to that effect. But you like to get out in public, meet new people and you love to chat. We'll go on to Venus. So we have um, Venus, which reveals how you love with the intimate depths of your private life. And you have the letter in the Lenormand cards. So it's telling me you love to uh, send poetry to your partner, love letters, and messages on social media where you're intimate with a partner. And I'm getting the timing for the 27th day of September. Now we have Jupiter and you have the tree. So Jupiter is um, what shapes your strongest held beliefs and what makes you lucky in love. Now we have the tree and it's telling me you are open to love that is nurturing and that has a lot of growth. Now you love a budding relationship and you want the strong solid relationship that doesn't sway away from you here Pisces. We have Mars and we have the bouquet. Now, Mars unveils your deepest desires, what you truly light your fire when it comes to love. And the bouquet is about receiving gifts. You truly love receiving gifts. And when it comes to you, you're in so, so much delight here, Pisces, that you have a very deep appreciation of it. That's a beautiful uh, message that's coming through for you. Now, we have Saturn and we have the heart. Now, Saturn's here to teach you your love's greatest lessons. It shines a light on your deepest relationship challenges and limitations that you have to overcome in love. Now, the heart's fallen out for you, and it tells me that you're loving, kind and gentle, but you fall head over heels, Pisces. It's pretty much straight away when you're passionate or attracted to somebody. Now, this could tell you not to wear your heart on your sleeve as some partners do take advantage of your loving nature. So that's a message that's coming through for you. Then we have Uranus and the crossroads. So Uranus is um, helping you discover your new unique attraction and what makes you irresistible to romantic partners. And you've got the crossroads. And this is telling me sometimes you, you can have several lovers on the go. So you could be multiple dating right now and you're being a little bit choosy. But remember that a partner always wants what they, what they can't have, even if you're already committed. Now we have Neptune and the mice. Neptune reveals your rose-colored glasses, what makes you weak at the knees when it comes to love. And we have the mice. So maybe um, you like when your partner gets a little nervous around you, or this could be you. It's a, like a little obsessive behavior but you love how they are clingy and jittery around you so you have that beautiful personality that makes people go weak at the knees now we've got pluto as the last card and pluto's here to reveal one thing you must do to take your love even deeper and we've got the mountain so sometimes um you need to let your walls down here pisces and possibly you may have a lonely relationship from a distance 
And this is how you choose your partners, uh, maybe from internet dating. So for some reason you see that all your avenues are blocked. And like I said, you're at a, uh, a crucial point in your life, you're at a crossroads, and there are different roads ahead. So now is the time to make a choice you can explore with uh, which path you are going down and which one is right for you. Now, be careful, one person could be bisexual. Now, I've got the theme of the reading here for you. And it's going to give a little bit more insight to this reading. So what this is telling me, there is going to be a karmic meeting for some. And this is going to take place in a spa. You need to get out there and socialise this month. Join in on groups and get involved in community spirit. Now meet new people and reach out. This may be stressing you, which will bring on anxiety. But keep yourself strong and healthy inside and out. Mind, body and soul and spirit. Yeah. And uh, Pisces, some of you have relationship worries. Stop making mountains out of molehills by letting small problems get to you. Deal with it before it gets bigger. So that's the message from these cards. So I'm going to pop those back. And I'll give you a more in-depth meaning. So we've got the garden. We've got the tree. We've got the mice. And we've got the heart. So this is telling me that this month you will... Um, an invitation is going to come for you and I feel it's um, a written answer back to you now this is coming in the mail for you and it's possibly got some documents inside this envelope now this could be coming from a pen pal or someone you admire on posters on an online forum it could be an invitation inside for you now I have asked one question to spirit what is just ahead for Pisces and just bear with me while I tune in and I can give you the answer to this reading. Thank you. Okay, the message is pertaining to this reading here Pisces and you can end your worries just by deciding to do so it's up to you Pisces so that's a message for this month about your relationships take it in your situation and um, just get out there and have fun bye for now